Hey guys, my name's Daniel and I'm a doctor from Melbourne, Australia. So I wanted to start with this topic first for a couple of reasons. First of all, obviously it's just really important to know what all the parts are, what they all do and what they look like. But the second reason is that sadly, many young women these days are so stressed and anxious about the way their genitals look that they're getting surgery and permanently altering their bodies when they were perfectly normal in the first place. So in this video, I wanna talk about the variation in what normal female genitals look like on the outside as well as all the important structures that we find on the inside. So let's start off with a question for you at home. I want you to have a look at the next three pictures and you just tell me which one you think is normal. Do you think it's number one, number two, or number three? So as you might have guessed, this is actually a trick question because all these pictures are 100% totally normal. Unfortunately, the vast majority of the images and videos that you'll see on the internet these days will be of women who resemble that first image. Or even worse, sometimes editors will actually take images or videos of women who resemble images two or three and Photoshop them to make them look like the first one. So it's completely understandable that a young woman might start to feel stressed or anxious about the way that they look if every image they've seen is either of only one type of woman or been Photoshopped to look that same way. So if this is you and you've been feeling stressed or anxious about this, I just wanna reassure you that you're normal, you've got nothing to worry about and it's all okay. So now let's look at some more pictures and assign some names to the things that we're looking at. So let's talk about the parts that you can see on the outside first. This is what's called a woman's vulva. So first off, we have the labia majora. So these are the outer folds of the vulva and these will look more similar to the surrounding skin. Next, we have the labia minora. Now these are the inner folds of the vulva and in some women, these will be shorter than the labia majora and not be visible at first glance. However, in other women, they may be longer than the labia majora and might protrude out and be visible. Neither is more normal than the other and both are perfectly healthy. I highly recommend that everyone watching this video go and look up a website called the Labia Library. I'll put the link below. This is a great online resource and it shows real pictures of the wide range of what women's genitals can look like. I think this is really important for both men and women to all have a look at this because as a society, it'll mean that everyone has a better idea of what a normal woman actually looks like. So the next part we need to talk about is the clitoris. Now this is a very important part of a woman's body that definitely deserves its own video. This is really important for a woman's experience during sex and can be stimulated to help a woman have an orgasm. This may be using a finger, a tongue, a toy such as a vibrator, or just from the rubbing and grinding that can occur in certain sexual positions when a man and a woman have sex. So next up, we have the two holes that are involved in a woman's genitals, the urethra and the vagina. That's right boys, girls have two holes. Shocking, I know. So unlike men, the urinary tract, the tube you pee out of, and the reproductive tract, the tube that you have sex with and where babies come from, are separate. So next, we need to talk about the things that are on the inside. So let's have a look at the things that you'll normally find inside a woman's pelvis. So up the top, we have the ovaries. And this is where an egg is released once a month in a woman who's having regular periods. The egg then travels down one of these tubes known as the fallopian tubes. And this is what connects the ovaries to the uterus. If this egg is then fertilized by sperm from a man during sex, then this egg will then implant to the side of the uterus and grow into a fetus and then a baby. Below that, you have the cervix. Now this is what you might like to think of as a gate between the vagina and the uterus. It stops a developing baby from coming out before it's fully grown, and it stops a man's penis from going into the uterus during sex. Finally, down the bottom, we have the vagina. This is a flexible tube, which is where a penis is inserted if a woman's having sex with a man. It's also where a period will come out from. And if a woman's having a baby, this is where the baby will come out. Finally, just a few disclaimers about this video. First of all, you may have noticed that in all the pictures that I've drawn, there isn't any pubic hair. Now, in a woman who's post-puberty, this is obviously not very realistic. But for the sake of the pictures, it made sense and made it easier to look at all the different structures. Secondly, in this video, when I've used the word sex, I've obviously been referring to heterosexual sex between a man and a woman. However, in the gay community or the trans community, this may mean different things. However, for this video, it made sense to just use it in this way. Thirdly, although I am a doctor, this advice is only general advice, and if you have any serious concerns, you should always go and see your local doctor. So if you like that video, please like and subscribe. Or if you have any questions, you've got something you'd like to suggest for me to do in my next video, then leave a comment below or send me an email.